Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. In this video, I'm going to conclude MPTCP discussion and I'm going to talk about the commands that you need to configure MPTCP and I'm going to talk about the best combination of congestion control and scheduler to increase the performance and the user experience. Uh, for whom don't, uh, doesn't remember what MPTCP is, uh, in the first videos, I have talked about MPTCP and how to configure it, but just for recapping, MPTCP gives the uh, capability of having access to more than one network at the same time. For example, this is, uh, imagine this is my cell phone. It can access to 4G, 5G and Wi-Fi or other networks at the same time. And, and it can uh, use both of them to increase and robust the performance but uh, I, if you remember I have talked that uh, I've mentioned that uh, public servers don't support MPTCP some of them support such as some applications that Apple is using like Siri but some uh, or more exactly a lot of are not supporting but the number is increasing so uh, when the mobile or the laptop uh, is MPTCP capable it cannot use MPTCP because the final destination is not supporting and it is going to fall back to the uh, conventional TCP and uh, it is going to use one of the network interfaces. For this, uh, I recommend it. I recommend it to use a proxy server and configure MPTCP on the proxy server. Uh, so in this case, the connection from the client to the server is going to be MPTCP, which this part is important because this is the bottleneck side of the network and the other side, which is on the backbone of the internet and has sufficient bandwidth can be in MPTCP or single pass TCP, which is not important. In this case, we can improve the compatibility uh, of our uh, device to the proxy uh, which both of them are MPTCP and we can increase the user experience. Now we want to talk about the, uh, we want to have a look on the commands that we can use for MPTCP. The first command that uh, we want to have a look is uh, how can we enable and disable MPTCP in our system. Uh, for example, we have MPTCP, but we want to disable it or it is disabled, we want to enable it. For this, we use sudo uh, sysctl command net mp. You can use tab to complete the command and enable. Okay, then first of all, we can have a look on the, situ uh, on the status of the MPTCP. I can see that right now it is enabled. So if I make it zero, it is going to be disabled. And if I have a look on the status, it is going to be disabled. Then I can enable it again. So MPTCP enabled is uh, for enabling and disabling MPTCP. One means enabled, zero means disabled. The second command is for uh, choosing the type of pest manager that we want to have. Uh, pass manager is one of the uh, pillars of the MPTCP, but it is not very critical. It is just for joining and removing the path that we have in our network. Uh, most of the time we use full mesh because uh, we want to use all of the paths that we have. But in case that you want to have other uh, configuration, you can change it based on your need, for example, to default. For setting the path manager to full mesh, we use sudo, again, sysctl, net, mp, press tab, then we write pass, and if we, uh, again, press tab, it is going to complete, and I want to use full mesh because I want to have all of my uh, subflows or pass to be used. If I check the status, it is full mesh. I can change it to default. And I can see, okay, it is default. But it is recommended to use full mesh if you want to use, to use all of your, uh, all of your 
connectivities in the network. The next command is for uh, changing the scheduler. Uh, if you don't remember what a scheduler is, uh, scheduler is the part of MPTCP that selects which pass is responsible for sending the current data. For example, we have two passes. Imagine we have 5G and, for example, Wi-Fi. The packet is arriving uh, at the scheduler. It is saying, okay, right now, LTE or, for example, 5G, you are the responsible. The next time, you are the responsible. Or, again, 5G, 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 then Wi-Fi. Scheduler has a, a critical role on the performance of MPTCP. We have different schedulers, such as default, redundant, uh, round, robin, which are uh, by default in the Linux kernel, and we have two uh, new uh, schedulers called blessed and ECF. Uh, these are the Bless and ECF uh, have been introduced in two papers, and uh, if someone is interested uh, for the um, for how they work, uh, you, he can have a look on them. But uh, in a summary, Bless tries to uh, prevent head of line blocking problem, and ECF is uh, trying to find the fastest uh, path to send the data. Default, which by default is in the Linux kernel, is trying to choose the pass that has the lowest latency or lowest RTT until the, uh, the until it is full. Uh, then it is going to change the to the to the best second one. Redundant is duplicate. Redundant duplicates the data and send them from all of the available pass, which is going to. Uh, Based the resources round robin is going to use a timer and based on the timer is sending packets to the different paths that are available from for changing the first of all for seeing the um, available the current scheduler again we use sysctl net mptcp scheduler and as i told you Default is the uh, is the default one in the Linux kernel, but based on the analysis that I thought that I have done for my uh, new papers, the best scheduler in most of the cases is blessed. So, uh, but it is the problem that we cannot <coughs> because I have it. It is going to set it to blessed, but the problem is that we cannot. Uh, set the scheduler to the blessed because it is not enabled by default. If you want to have it in your Linux kernel, you should uh, uh, use this command sudo modprobe dash v mptcp underline blessed. Okay, this is going to add the bless to the uh, available schedulers. Then you can use the same uh, command that I have used and you can change it to blessed as uh, you can see. Uh, you can change it to ECF, you can change it to round robin, but okay, it is not. So we need to add round robin to the. Okay, it is not, uh, it is not in the. Uh, So we need to, this is not in the, so we need to change, uh, we need to use another command, this one, to add round robin, then we can set it to the round robin. So if mode probe is not uh, working, we can use insert mode or in ins mode to insert the uh, scheduler or 
even the congestion control that we want so as i told you the best one is blessed so if you want to have the best performance you should set the scheduler to blessed on your proxy server the next one is for setting the congestion control mechanism uh, for whom mm, doesn't remember what congestion control is uh, after uh, having the pass selected by the uh, scheduler we should uh, we should not we mptcp should set the sending rate on the pass to what extent it should be aggressive and to what extent it should send the packets to the pass uh, it is this this is for this responsibility is for the congestion control part of the mptcp which is after getting the packets it it is uh, adjust the sending rate in different paths we have different congestion controls uh, in mptcp uh, the one category is uncoupled the other category is coupled uncoupled mptcps don't care about all paths they treat the pass independently so they are going to damage the fairness but coupled congestion controls uh, look at all the pass and adjust the sending rate in a way that they can function fairer so they follow the fairness principle we have different uh, uncoupled congestion controls like the conventional was such as cubic and we have a different uh, suggested and proposed coupled congestion controls such as lia olia balia or weighted vegas that they have uh, the, the, the functionality of them uh, have some differences uh, some of them are more aggressive some of them are not aggressive such as weighted vegas that are just trying to reduce the uh, delay and packet loss but as well it is going to decrease the uh, throughput of the network so first of all for seeing the the current congestion control we use again CCTL and net this time ipv4 then tcp congestion control and uh, we can see that by default it is cubic so it is going to be uncoupled cubic again based on the analysis if you don't want to be fair and throughput is important and aggressiveness is important for you cubic is really good but if you want to have aggressiveness and fairness but a, a little it is it is going to be a little less aggressive than cubic uh, it is suggested to have uh, olia or balia uh, based on the different uh, characteristics of the network or the performance uh, that you want okay uh, but before as you can see it is not available so we need to add olia or balia uh, to the kernel so for adding the balia we can again use mod probe or we can use ins mod i will put these uh, commands in the description of the video so you can uh, copy um, them easily and you can use them so uh, for having olia i'm going to copy okay then If one of them is not working uh, you can use the other one now my uh, congestion control is olia if i want to change it to uh, balia again the first step is to uh, have the congestion control added to the kernel 
okay then I can change it to Palia now I can see that my congestion control is Palia so in this video we have learned how to change different parameters of MPTCP and we have learned that most of the time blessed uh, which is a newly pr uh, proposed scheduler uh, has the best functionality and if we want to and we can change our uh, congestion control dip dip on our system or on our proxy server to Olia or Balia to have more robust functionality.